Hey everybody, Eric here again, and this is going to be a quick Starlink update. I know I've been doing a bunch of these, but somebody in the comments sent me a really cool website about ground stations. So real quick, if this stuff brings you value, would appreciate if you hit that like button, share, subscribe, that's it. Yeah, that, those kind of things it would be amazing. I would really appreciate it. So on to the quick news on the, this ground station thing. So somebody in the comments in my last video was so awesome they sent a link over to basically show all the Starlink satellites. And it is super cool, first of all. Uh, but if you zoom in, you can actually see the ground stations. So I'm gonna do that here real quick. And so here's here's kind of where all the satellites are orbiting. Uh, there are times you can see the new paths. You can see the, the long lines here. Uh, those are the new satellites going up and you can actually see them move. It's pretty cool. There's a new satellite that's going in, in, into orbit, you know, the, the re recent launches. Uh, but that's not what I wanted to show everybody. I'm going to zoom back out here because you can see all the satellites. And you can actually look at the OneWeb satellites. You can see all kinds of them here. But let's look at the U.S. And specifically, since I'm in Arizona, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And you can see the registered ground stations here in red. And so look at this. There's the one. Here's the ones closest to me, which is, it looks like it's in... Uh, Yuma, Arizona, from what I can tell. It says Roll AZ Gateway. When you click on it, it actually has all the details that they've registered with the FCC on what's going on here. So overall antenna count has got eight antennas. Uh, the diameter is five feet in diameter. Manufacturer, of course, SpaceX. It tells the frequencies of the uplink and the downlink, uh, which is 2.1 gigahertz uh, for the uplinks and uh, 1.3 for the downlink. This was all filed for almost a year ago already, which is crazy, and a link to the actual FCC report. Um, and you can see the different ground stations throughout the country here. Looks like there's certainly more of them up north, which would make sense since that's where they're servicing them for. But the interesting that I, thing that I found here was that they said that you were locked to a ground station with the per current technology. They were geo-locked by a lack of... Um, you know, new technology. At one point, you, you'll be able to roam with the dish. But right now, they said you're geolocked maybe 80 miles to that local ground station. Uh, first of all, from what I'm saying, and I'm, again, sure they're adding more ground stations, but the ground stations aren't that, you know, that close together. So you can see here, uh, like I was looking at Arizona or LA or whatever we got here. I mean, there's nothing in New Mexico. If this ground station were to service a, a symmetrical area around it, that's a big area that I could potentially move the dish to. So I am still on a wait list for my dish uh, because we are so far south. Um, and of course, more, more satellites are going to orbit right now. But the first thing I'm gonna do is move it around. Um, I'm curious as to, you know, they said 80 miles-ish is where it should go. But this ground station is more than 80 miles away from me. So I'm curious as to how far these will go. If you've got one of these and you've been moving them around already, I would love to hear about it or see what kind of results you're getting. And I've linked this website that shows all the satellites and the ground stations in the uh, the comment section, not the comment section, but the, the details below. Would love to know uh, anybody who's tried to move their dish how far they've moved it, and how far away from the ground station they are here. And so thank you to the viewer and the commenter that added this to the, the list in the comments below of the last video. This is probably one of the coolest websites I've seen. It's also, again, checking when OneWeb here, which is a, a com competitor, which they're, they're a little bit further behind, as you can see, than Starlink as far as getting um, satellites up. And they did go bankrupt. And, you know, and I think the uh, UK government's a big investor in them right now. But they're definitely far, far behind Starlink here. And, uh, yeah, the ground station thing is super cool, especially having all the details. I mean, look at them. They're, they're growing. But there's some gaps there as well. But look at all those satellites in orbit. Anyway, hopefully this brought you some value. You check out the website. Again, it's down below in the description. To me, this was super cool. I'm going to bookmark this and watch this because this will help me understand where the dish can be moved to and how far outside and what regions are which. Again, please comment below. Tell me how far you've moved your dish um, and you know how far away you are from, from these ground stations. Lots of exciting stuff. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully more to come. If you've got some cool, exciting stuff that you found, comment below. I'll do another video. I'll post it out there. Love this stuff. So again, thank you for listening. Hope this brought you some value. Please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and have a great day. Thank you so much. We'll see you maybe in the next video.